So these are all Craigslist ads that I have. I do a lot of Craigslist advertising and Facebook Marketplace, eBay for a lot of items that I sell. I do collectibles, not just computer stuff. We've got a Jeter uh, set up here with signature, playlist, signature. Anyway, what I want to do today is discuss how to know instantly when you get a text or an email that says whether or not it's a scam. And there's like six indicators that you can tell instantly. You don't even have to respond. And I'll show you all about that. Okay, guys, so as I was saying, all those ads on uh, Craigslist. I do a lot of advertising, so here's how you recognize a scam within the first 10 seconds. You get a, a text that has you that asks you to email to someone else to a different address and asks you if you have this item for sale still. Uh, if you call that number back, you'll see it's like Google Voice or, or some anonymous service that won't accept a call, won't accept a, t a text, and uh, it's a scam. They want you to email some the other address because they want to stay anonymous, and then uh, they'll give you the old uh, I'll send you a bank check spelled C H E Q U E. When it clears, I'll include shipping. When it clears, you can send the item. That's a fake bank check, or you'll get one that says PayPal. Let me see. Let me see. I got a PayPal one. Like this one. Here's one. You get. Uh, they ask for your item. Email me at the this address instead of sending you a text that you can answer the text by text and it always says what is your last asking price not your best price but what's the best that you'll take when it's the last asking price it's European or African I don't mean to be racist but it's a scam last asking price another one also if someone sends you a text and you can't text them back and they want you to send something to an email it's a scam so here's one um, the whole story, you know, he's located wherever he is, and his name, and he's a steward from a boat, and uh, he would love to come pick it up, but due to my profession, I can pay my shipper cash directly. I can't pay my shipper cash directly, and they don't use PayPal, so I will add the shipper fees to your funds. Scam, scam, scam. So he asked me to take a bank check, and I said, no, I don't take checks. So, uh, so then he said, uh, so I said, I'll take PayPal. I gave my PayPal address. And then he goes, all right, I'll go ahead and make the payment now and keep you updated. One cent will also be asking the mover fee to the payment. I will be adding the moving fee to the payment as I explained earlier. More so, you will be getting confirmation from PayPal in your email address. So I need to keep your eye on the email address for confirmation and know once payment is complete. Now, e e uh, PayPal doesn't send in a confirmation email. You go look in your account, it's there. And I even told him, I said, not an email scammer in my account. Never heard from him again. As soon as it's like uh, an email, I've, I've, I've had these guys send them. I want to see what it looks like. A kind of official looking email from PayPal. It's a scam saying the funds are there and been transferred. And uh, you never do anything unless you go to your PayPal account and the funds show that are there. And uh, even you can get scammed like that because a guy can still say he didn't get the item. And they can hold the funds 21 days, but you know you can usually get through that. But these are all different ways you can catch these scammers. So, guy says, uh, I'm going to send a check spelled C-H-E-Q-U-E. Instead of like we spell it, that's a scam right away. If you get a text that says email this other, send me information at this email address, that's a scam. If you get one that says PayPal uh, with confirmation email, that's a scam. And you get one that's... Uh, you know, all these stories and all this crazy stuff. So, uh, and also you look at the, the way they, the language is written. Uh, like, uh, on here he says, once payment is complete, I will be having the mover contact you to schedule a pickup with you at your own convenience when payment is cleared. Thanks. You know, anyway, there's too many scams. They're getting better with them. So just be aware. Um, if somebody, I put my phone number and my text in there, I, I want to talk to people. Because if I sell something, if I talk to someone, I can sell it. You know, trying to do it all electronically doesn't always work. Especially when you're selling, communicating with people. And um, if anything is a little more convoluted than it needs to be, if a guy's going to send you a text, let him send you a text. You should be able to text them back or call that number and get a human, an answer. Or a real phone service. Uh, it doesn't happen. So these are just the five or six tips 
to be wary when you're selling. Um, just have people come. If they want to do PayPal, that's fine. Go to your account, make sure it's there as, as funds available. And sometimes they put a hold on it. So I'll tell a person, when the funds become available, I will ship. Now, sometimes they'll say, you have to ship so we can release the funds. So what you can do, though, is you can go on PayPal and say you shipped it, even when you didn't. And it'll drop the, because um, if somebody comes and picks something up, you can do it that way. It'll drop the 21-day hold, but it will put a one-week hold. And then you can uh, ship it after that one week is up, so you're still ahead of schedule. All right, guys, just a little info. Be careful out there. I do a lot of deals on the Internet. I was the number one RV seller in 2000. I was getting, I got the first fake bank check for $26,000. The bank actually cleared it. And it took them four and a half months to come back and tell me it was a fake. But we hadn't since sent the item because I wasn't comfortable with it back then. And um, the bank actually paid it and took the funds back out. So that's the other thing. If you get a bank check, if you get a bank check and it's for more money than it's supposed to be, and it looks like a real bank check, you, you got to check it carefully. It's probably a fake. Uh, either a, a copy of a good one or stolen checks from somebody's old account. But um, it's harder for a bank to confirm a bank check, believe it or not, than a personal check. You can go to that branch, bring a personal check in. They go on a computer and look it up. A bank check is more complicated for them. They have to go through the system. But your bank normally will clear a bank check within one to two business days. So if you get something, don't ship or anything for at least 10 days. Because in 10 days, the bank, will, if it's a fake check, they'll come back to you. And if it's a bank check, if it's a scam, they probably 90% of the time will close your account and uh, give you a hard time. Even though it's not your fault and you're accepting a check from someone else, the bank puts the responsibility on you, which is not right. I, I beat Bank of America. They once cleared a check. And six and a half months later, they came back and said this check was not good. And we, we got my, I had my lawyer call and, and get into them. They, they want to take us to court. I said, um, you guys are bankers. You're experts. I'm not an expert with banking. You cleared the check, and I shipped the item 45 days later. That's more than enough time for you professionals to tell me if it's a good or bad check. But after six months, this is ridiculous. And uh, the court threw it out. I beat them. But you got to be careful. They closed that account. Uh, eventually, I reopened it. But these banks don't really care for your business. They have so much business, they don't know what to do with it. All right, guys. Enough rambling. Be careful. Get on the Internet. Buy, sell, trade. Have fun.